an endless abyss full of darkness and void until we discover that it's just a Matarasu taking a nap. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal and welcome back to Okami. Last episode, we got two of the four secret ingredients for Orochi's appetizer. And this episode, we're going to be getting the last two, hopefully. And that should grant us access to the upper levels of the moon cave and to Orochi's lair. So, let's go ahead and start this off by power slashing these pots because they're there. And everyone knows that pots are bad in any video game that you see. I mean, seriously. Look at, uh, uh, look in, uh, sorry. Look up any video game where pots are good. You always want to break them. Although, someone should make like a Steam game where pots are actually the good guys and the heroes are the bad guys. That should be done. So, uh, this episode we're going to be going into here. If you remember, there was a broken segment of the bridge and we weren't able to continue because there was some ice. But now that we have Inferno, we are now able to melt that ice. Whoops. Who was it that broke this bridge again? Well, Ami, you are exact you are actually heavier than you look. The pa that power of yours could easily handle a broken bridge. But why don't you think about going on a diet first? Oh my word. I love I love my mask. Next time uh there's text where Isun talks, I'll dwell on that mask a little bit more cuz that is just gorgeous. Okay, like Isun said, we want to does it, is this sign different? No, it's not. Uh, wow, this old cave is literally falling apart. That it is. But anyway, we want to use rejuvenation. And we can restore this broken board, thus helping the imps. Who'd have thunk that we'd be helping imps by episode 28? Okay, with that done, let's go ahead and progress. There's a torch over there, which we can be used to melt that ice. There we go. And gain access to a new room. With fire. And a demon gate. I believe I know what this room has, but I will not mention it in case it does have that. So, let's go ahead and go into this demon gate, and if I'm right, there should be a new enemy. That there is! There were ice lips, but of course there has to be a fire eye. So, with this battle with the fire eye, the strategy is identical to that of the ice lips. And that is, once we are able to fight, just immediately attack it. And it will go to... Why'd I not do that? Like that, you can counterattack it and almost kill it to death. Ow, no, 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 no. And kill it until it's dead. Or attack it till it's dead, hopefully. And there it is. And its floral finisher is Gale Storm. There we go. And now for the ice slips, let's go ahead and take this apart. Really? That was stupid. Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use a Traveler's Charm. And go ahead and counterattack this and finish this off. So the strategy of the fire eye is literally identical to that of the ice lips, so I don't really have to dwell on it too much. Uh, do we have fire? Oh, I should have killed this first. Oh no. That's that was not very smart of me. Okay, uh if the fire eye was around when I had killed that the that ice lips. Uh, then I could have used the fire from the fire eye to actually do the floral finisher of the ice lips, and that's what they wanted you to do. It just, I didn't really think that far ahead, though I should have. Okay, and here is our eyeball of fire. Succu succulent eye, used as an ingredient in Orochi's appetizer, cause, because why not? Ugh, disgusting. Succulent eye. You don't, you never use the word succulent for, like, meat. Well, actually you do for like steak, but man, that's disgusting. Okay, uh in this room, what are we supposed to do? I believe what we're supposed to do also there's the mask for you. Uh is go out here and you see that ball right there with all the wood stacked around it? Well, you want to light that on fire possibly. Maybe. No. What are you supposed to do in this room?
Oh, that was close. That was so close. I got the ice behind it. Almost. Wait. Okay, let me try this. Let me grab this uh, Exorcism Slip L, which is actually amazing, because that will really come in handy later on. But I think I am on the right track here. What we're supposed to do is get the camera like this. Let the door open. And then light that ball on fire. It didn't work. Uh, I know that's how you do it, because I just did it. Wait. Okay, I'm going to cut to when I do it, because this is frustrating. Okay, well, I decided to do this just the way I should have done it, and that is melt all the ice individually, which is, you know, it kind of surprising why I didn't think of that first, but I know that this is supposed to light on fire. At some point, I, I've... I know it's supposed to, but for some reason it's not. Maybe I have in my mind something that comes in later, but, you know, it's just really vexing because, I mean, we're never coming back here, so you'd think if they're, if they're going to do something that you would have been able to do later, you know, they wouldn't put it in an area that you could never return to, so I have no idea. But now that we've looted this room, we can leave with our key in mouth. So let's go ahead and leave. Are there any alternate exits? No, there don't seem to be. Okay, we have to go back the long way. So the long way is actually really easy. Wait, whoa. That was Orochi, no doubt. Sounds like he's hungry or something. Oh no. Maybe he couldn't wait for his appetizer. He hasn't eaten poor Kushi first, has he? Hopefully not. I, I doubt he would. He's been waiting 100 years. I doubt he would, uh eat the main course first. I mean, he'd want a good meal, so let's go ahead and use this key on this lockjaw, and we can go through and hopefully get the last ingredient, since we've already gotten the uh, Eye of Fire. Okay, this room is very sandy. Man, what's up with this? Okay. Skull Dunes. Don't play with the ball. Ack. What's, what's with all the sand crumbling off the ceiling? Ami, we better be extra careful around here. That we should, except for the fact that we should probably jump in here. Okay, that may seem really, really dumb of me, but I know for a fact that inside one of these holes is something we want to get. So I'm going to go and jump in huh, all of these. Wasn't that one. Let's try this one. And is this one it? No, it's not. And we're very low on health. Wonderful. I know in one of these holes is something we need to get. Well, anyway, I may be thinking of some other part in the game. I don't know. Or maybe I th I'm thinking of Zelda or something. Okay, so what we want to do is actually headbutt this rock, and we can actually roll it very slowly through the sand. Although, I prefer these ball rolling physics. They're much simpler, and they're easier to get handle on. So let's go ahead and get the ball rolling right here. Oh, no, 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 no. What is... Is that going to open up a bridge? It better open a bridge. Uh, better open a bridge. No, 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 no. It fell during the cutscene. That's cheap. Huh? I thought I saw a path for a second when the sand blew by. Oh, it just respawned right here. Okay. So anyway, these, these ball rolling physics I can get behind. Literally get behind because I'm behind the ball. Oh, never mind. We can just roll across here. Now, if you want to see where the bridge is, I believe you can just do this. Yes, and you can see the uh, thing. Although you can do this without actually seeing the invisible bridge. Actually, I would have preferred that because it's kind of giving me... Oh, that was that was a good save, actually. It's kind of giving me a, a little bit of dizziness. Okay. Uh, I should probably heal myself, so just a second. There we go, I just used Holy Bone M, so we're good. Okay, let me go ahead, jump over here, and get this clover while it's here. And let's see, how much praise will this net us? Probably back to five praise. Probably. Five praise, yep. Uh, so let me go ahead and jump down this hole. Uh, because I believe there's a secret in here. So let me go ahead and do this. Oh, and I was right! Neato! Okay, so down this hole is a secret room. And the secret is a passageway that leads all the way down around here. And it brings us to... A chest and a wall that we can blow up. You obtain pearl. Pearl that has grown to a large size due to the water's purity. Neat. 
Okay, so now we can blow up this wall, and I have no idea what's past this. And there's nothing else for us. This reminds me of an area in Pikmin. And through here, we're back to the beginning. So jump down the hole. Whoa! The hole with all the shrubs around it. That's the one you want to jump into. Okay, so let's go ahead and go this way. And continue to move this. Oh, I think I... Oh, okay, this ball, I think, it, I think I know what it's going to do. You see those balls right there on the left and right? I believe once we put this in there, that will do... Yes, I was right. It will start them on fire, which is what I was, I've was i been thinking of the whole dungeon. You obtain Moon Cave Map. It's a little bit late for that game. A little bit late for a map. Sort of like sometimes in Zelda that you get the dungeon map like right at the end. <laughs> thanks. Thanks, game. Appreciate it. Okay. So now we're to a new level. We're up, we're up to uh, the third floor. And there's ice right here and a merchant, which I'll go ahead and talk to. Okay. Uh, incense burner. Yeah, I don't really care. Okay, and this merchant. Hey, buddy. How are you? Imp merchant. Here for a snack or something during your break? Well, take your pick. Just don't try and sniff me. I, w I wouldn't dream of it. I don't know. Maybe a lot of imps try to sniff him for, what I, for whatever reason, but I'm certainly not going to do that. Okay, what can I buy? Mermaid coin, don't care. Feed bag, I might as well stock up since I have a ton of money. Oh wait, I accidentally sold them. Derp. Okay, uh... <laughs> with renewed vigor, I will now buy everything that I need. 10, 10, 13. Wow, 13 fish. Okay. Uh, Infinity Stone, don't need it. Vengeance Slip. It's really weird why they're, they're selling things that enable you to kill imps. Like, Exorcism Slip? Holy Incantation. You'd think that imps would, like, tear something, such a thing up. It's really weird. Okay. Ah... Uh, you know what? Exorcism Slip M. And let's see, what else does he have? Just making sure. Uh, I could use... I'll grab four of these. Uh, no, sorry, two more. My math is bad. I want 15. And I can grab three of these since I have a ton of money and no plans to really spend any of it besides on this stuff in the future. Let's go ahead and buy two of these and one of these. I think I have enough, but just to make sure... Hmm, no, I don't want to do that. That's dumb. I don't want to spend all my money. That's really stupid of me. Okay, so I'll save the rest of my money. Now I have 24,000 yen, which should actually put me in a good position to defeat Orochi, since presumably that's what we're going to be doing. Okay, where else should we go? Seriously, where are we going? Map. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is that what I think it is? Yes, okay, there's a Konohana Blossom up there, and so we can vine up here. It's amazing how much of this game is actually coming back to me. I didn't suspect that there's a Konohana Blossom. I remembered, which is really impressive. Okay, how do we get over there? Um, how do we get over there? Oh, Gale Storm. Okay, that makes sense. Gale Storm, Gale Storm, Gale Storm. Okay, me. Danger! Do not use the cannon. It's out of order. I want to. I want to do just the opposite when I see a sign like this. Don't you really? I mean, in any game, just it, it says a sign that says "Don't do this." You immediately want to do. It. Also, I'm falling in love with that mask. That is, that is the best thing ever. I guess I should change my title to e Isun the Fearless. That that'd work. He is pretty fearless. I mean, leap before you think, or maybe you could call him Isun the Dumb. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so this cannon, presumably we want to use it, but where? Ah, uh, let's look at the map. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That way? Uh, I think that way. Because, look at the map, there's stuff over there. So I think that way is where we want to go. Also, actually, yeah, I'm pretty sure that way, because look at the, the uh, thing that I'm pointing to directly across from us there is a uh, a sign there that is one of a kind like it's not anywhere else so I think we should bomb there uh, there's probably a timing to this sort of like in Toilet Princess which I'm talking about a game that you guys uh, haven't seen me let's play so probably some of you don't know about it okay let's go ahead and use that the timing okay so the timing is half a turn off so now 
Okay, so this should work. One, two, three, go! Second try! Neat! Good job, Paladin! Okay. Yeah, I'm a pal of Din, speaking of Zelda. Okay, let's go ahead and... Can't find back. Can't find back. Uh... Can I seriously vine that far? Really? That far? Okay. I'll buy that. Okay, so now we can go through this... Not, not exactly a doorway, but an opening. You know what they say? Hey, whoa! In games. When in doubt, bomb. And that's true. Okay. Let's go ahead and kill this imp. Finish him off. Power slash. Good. Okay, I, I really need to get some godhood up because we're almost to the end. And I don't want to have to use my uh, my godly charm unless it's in the battle with Orochi. So I want to build up my... I, actually, you know what? No, I shouldn't worry about that at all because I can just grind. Because there's there's actually an infinite demon scroll all the way down there, so I could actually grind. In fact, I might do that at the end of this episode. Okay, so there's a fiery ball up there. <laughs> Hot tamale. Let's just call it that. So we can blow it off there? No, we can't. Never mind. Forget what I said. Okay, so let's go over here. There are pots. Pots galore, actually. Let's go ahead and power slash these. And power slash that. And around here... Uh, it's fire? Is there any fire? Oh, wait. Derp. Da, 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 da. Okay, there's fire over here. Which we can't use because it's on a pedestal. Uh, I think wind is what we need. Let's try it again. Will that work? Yes, it will. Okay. So what we want to do is go through here. Let's make sure there's nothing behind us. Go into first wolf view. Nothing. Okay, so what we want to do is roll this ball along and melt all the ice around this cave. That's exactly what we want to do. So the first instance of ice is where? Camera's kind of being a little bit wonky. Okay, let's roll it this way. You, This is the best ball rolling physics in the game because you don't actually have to touch it. And my problem with the ball is that you have to touch it. Because, you know, you have to... Uh, have to tolerate the horrible ball rolling physics in this game like seriously it's like this game's only drawback uh let me jump up here before that stuff despawns actually i could have jumped up there and used gale storm to get rid of the fire i always forget about that of uh, melt me please there we go okay i always forget about that because i just don't think wind would do anything i always think that wind would actually feed the fire because it's giving more oxygen to it but it's actually just the opposite. It's dousing it. But I never think that. Okay. So here we go. We can jump up here. And that was a very easy room. Although, should we bring the ball anywhere? Is the ball supposed to end up in like a switch? No. Oh, so we just have to... Oh, that's sad. We have to leave it here. Oh. Well, goodbye, ball. You were very nice. You are the best ball I've ever seen. Okay. Uh, Demon Gate, but anything else that meets the eye? Nothing. Okay, so Demon Gate. Let's go in. There we go. And this should be the last thing we need. Okay. Uh, should I? Yes. Yes, yes. Exorcism Slip S. And did that kill anyone? No. It just hurt people really bad. No, it killed this guy. No, it didn't. Uh, yeah, it did. Okay, well, I missed the full adventure on him, but I don't really care. Now that I know that... Where's the other one? Where'd the other one go? Did he die too? Oh, he died too. Okay. I don't really care about getting floral finishers as much. Now that I know that it's not ba the rewards at the end of the game aren't based on percentage, but on total. You know, if I need to, I can just grind at the end of the game. And if I need to, if I... Black Demon Horn, sweet. If I need to, if, like, I complete the game and I don't get every re reward I want, then I could just go back to a previous save file and grind and then complete the game again. So I'm not really worried about Demon Fangs that much anymore. Horn to be ground into spice for Orochi's appetizer. Wonderful. Okay, before we leave, me talking about Demon Fangs makes me curious on how many we have. And we actually have 60, okay. So we're actually pretty high up on those. See where should we go? If I if I could have gone Ogta Forest, I would have spent goodbye ball again. I would have spent all my demon fangs once again, except this time I would have bought godly charms because I believe they buy uh, they sell for 15 demon fangs. So I would have bought like two of them or three, but alas, I was not able to do that. So anyway, 
That is... That was weird. That was all of the... There we go. That was all of the uh, things we needed. So... Wow. And we have two more rewards. And fire. We get the gift of fire. Because of that one switch that we activated, we can now melt this chest. Or melt the ice on the chest. And we can get a golden peach, which... Really? I like golden peaches. Don't get me wrong. I love them. In fact, on my on my private file, when I had to go through some of the parts in this game, I relied solely upon golden peaches to win battles. Basically, I would die, fill the astral pouch with a golden peach, and then die again. But... Really, in this playthrough, when I'm not trying to die, I haven't died yet. I don't want to die. I don't really want them. I don't really care. I'd rather have a godly charm or Kutani pottery, uh, which is a dish that is elegant in design and features uh, beautiful etchings. You know, I'd rather have one of those, because then I could buy something with it. I don't really care about golden peaches. I could sell them, actually, maybe. I don't know how much they sell for, but if it's worth it, I might just sell them all off. Because we probably have a lot by now. We have... How many? Made me made myself curious. We have... Not two. We have four. Yeah. So we have uh, six lives, con including our astral pouch. And I don't really think we're going to ever need six lives. It's just kind of ridiculous. Crystal. Sweet. Crystallized quartz that emits a, an enchanting sparkle. Cool. I once know. Oh wait, no. I was gonna say I once knew someone named Crystal, but I actually knew someone named Jules, which is arguably cooler. I mean, Crystal and Jules, pretty cool name. I mean, really cool names. Also, why did this come back? Seems really suspicious to me. But anyway, now that we have all of the ingredients and a demon scroll, which I'll probably grind on in the end of the episode, we can now go to a Jimmy and give her or him the rest of the things, of the ingredients. So, Ajimi, what do we have here? You brought back more than one of the secret ingredients? Wow, you're good. I just knew you'd make the perfect perfect assistant. Also, we are like putting our face into your stomach. Wonderful. <laughs> that mask just gives a... <laughs> I just get a kick out of that mask, oh my word. That is so such a funny looking face. I originally was like, yeah, I'll settle for it, but now that I see it more and more, I love that. That is so brilliant. It was nothing. Anyway, we're kind of in a hurry. You offered eyeball of fire, Z. You offered black demon horn GT. Hee hee hee! With each secret ingredient I add, my love for Lord Odochi shall deepen. Okay, now I have all the secret ingredients. It's time to finish off my special dish. Feast your eyes on my fabulous fabulous skills, darling. With a true heart and tender loving care, I shall prepare a symphony of s demonic goodness. Oxymoron! Much? Eyeball fire, uh, li ogre liver, black demon horn, and ice lips. Into the pot. Ta-da! In introducing the crown jewel of appetizers. Guaranteed to bring out maximum pl flavor in any main course. I give you my ultimate masterpiece. <laughs> Dung heap slime bucket goulash. Oh my word. Wow, Ajimi. This shall make the ma that main course, Kushi, taste 1,000 times better. <laughs> oh my word. He was... She was actually trying to make something bad. Now I get it. Oh wow, that makes perfect sense. She was trying to make something as bad as possible in order to make the main course taste as good as possible. Oh, that makes so much sense. Well, we mustn't keep Lord Odorchi waiting, sweetheart. Go to the Great Hall and ring the Epicurean Bell. That shall herald the completion of my appetizer masterpiece. The sound of that m melodious bell shall draw open the curtain of Lord Odorchi's bloody feast. Gotta love that blood, yo. And now the pot is still full. So where's the appetizer? Jump down. And also the frame rate just dropped. That was weird. Uh, but where's the appetizer? Is is it in here? You'd think that they'd serve it up instead of keeping it on flames. I don't know. Let's talk to the assistant again. Because the assistant is truly lost in the shadow of a Jimmy's greatness. Now, th now all that's left is to ring the Epicurean bell in the Great Hall. Hurry. You know what will happen if we keep Lord Odorchi waiting. Uh, 
demon scrolls? Shouldn't you guys not be afraid of- Wait, what is that? That's really creepy looking. It's like a- Ew, that's creepy! Oh my word! You guys see that? It's like- All of these! There are only two, okay. There, there are like voodoo dolls that have like a, ven a vengeance slip or a, or a, an exorcism slip on them and they're stabbed through the chest. That's disgustingly creepy. Okay, let's go and leave because that's disgusting. Also, boo boo curtains, which I want boo curtains. Okay, uh, the sad part about reading, uh, ringing the Epicurean bell is that I don't think we'll be able to grind on Demon Scrolls, so the godhood that we have now will have to be happy with, which is not good. Okay, let me go and ring this. Ring. Multiple times? Okay. How many times? Four. Oh, wait. Maybe we should talk to him first, because there's probably some ritual. I mean, if we're helping, we might as well do, the, oh, do our best. The meal is ready. Let the Epicurean bell ring out. Let it ring as many times as Lord Odertree has heads. Ring the bell is normally my job. But seeing how you, you've you been just itching to ring it all this time, and we've done it once or twice... I'll let you do the honors. Put your wicked body and evil soul into it. Make it ring out with wild abandon. That I will. One. Two. Three. Four. There it is, and much, looking much different than the soup that we saw is the appetizer and they're carrying it like Pikmin keeping rhythm and there we have it it's all the way to the top and the elevators at the bottom so we should be able to hitch a ride because the seal guarding the uh, top of the moon cave is no longer there now question will I still be able to ring the Epicurean bell and grind on enemies now this is the scary part if the meal does not please Lord Orochi, those cooks will get their gooses cooked. Uh, it's tough being an underling. I know, just look at those Goombas. They get slain left and right. Okay, let me try and ring this. Will that? No, it won't. Okay, that's extremely lame. Which means I won't be able to grind except for the demon scroll out here that has like an eye slips in it. I believe. So uh, I will do that in the end slate of this video. Next time. We, can, we will go to Orochi, now that we have access to his lair, and we'll bring him to his knees, or coils, I guess. So, I release new episodes of Akami Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Saturdays are long episodes, and if you like this episode, comment. If you didn't like this episode, then tell me in the comment section how I can make the next episode so you would like it. And, man, 73 subscribers at the time of me making this. That's amazing. I, I really like you guys. I really appreciate it. So, I'll see you guys next time for another Pal Plays Okami.